Hello, everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Red Dirt Ranch. And since last episode, I went ahead and uh, slept through the night here. I was going to sleep as long as what it took the crops to uh, grow, but it was uh, dark before the crops grew up. So it's like, well, you know what? Might as well just uh, sleep through the night then, right? Uh, speaking of watch oven, I don't remember if I've showed this on camera here or not, but a nighttime in this game oven, uh, it is still as bright as broad daylight. It, it, it's weird, though, because it, it's like really bright out, but then like the sky, everything, shadows, everything is dark. <clears throat> So it, it's light, but it's dark. I don't know. For those of you who have played on this map, you have to like play on the map to uh, see what I mean by it. But it, it, it's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. So yeah, anyway, slept through the night. Didn't necessarily have to. Because like I said, it's basically almost as bright as day out. It's just, it's really weird with the shadows and the dark sky. And I don't know, weird weird stuff. Weird, weird. But anyway, uh, this episode here, I thought I'd start off by buying some more cows. I think I mentioned this here last episode. I think we're just going to max this pen right out of it. So we got Holsteins. We're just going to buy, I don't know, at least maybe bump it up to 49 or something. I think we'll just probably bump it up to 50. We're just 50 cows, call it good, so we get a little more milk production that way. I know that the cows themselves aren't going to reproduce, but I mean, we're, we're not going to make any money off the cows reproducing. Not on this map anyway, but not with only 50 cows. Let's put it that way. Also, uh, TMR wise, looks like we got 60,000 liters, so let's go ahead and am I under it? I, I am. Okay, that'll work. Start filling that up, and we'll go ahead and unload that in the cows here in a minute. Uh, also, I'm guessing, Evan, since I slept the night, the hayfield's probably ready to be mowed again. Looks like we need some grass for some silage, so this time around we'll probably do grass. Uh, that's right, I'm going to turn this on so I can actually see if they're ready to harvest. Uh, it, oh, it very much is. Very, very much is. Okay, cool. Let's get the uh, mower going on that here. So all kinds of things we got uh, to work on here this episode. I did want to see if I could take the wood chips down to the lumber mill and see what that'll take. Wood chips or not, Evan? The wood chip bales, that is. Uh, see if we can get rid of those bales or not. Um, I don't know. If not, I'm not sure if there's like a better way I can get rid of them or not. Uh, ideally, I'd like to just, you know, get rid of those bales. Again, I'm not entirely sure where the wood chip bales came from, everyone. If it was the corn fodder or the uh, canola or something. I mean, one of the two. pH value is okay. Yeah, pH value is going to be bad after this. We'll have to make sure we put some lime on this stuff field. Anyway, we'll let the uh, mower do its job over there. Back to the cow pasture here. Get my bearings here a minute. There we go. We need to go this direction. Uh, we're out of straw in here, by the way. Uh, we'll get the other combine going here in a moment, hopefully. Speaking of which, uh, we are still working on harvesting 104, 105. Almost uh, done with that here. going to take uh, much longer to uh, finish that field. And let's see what's how we're going to be looking on cow feed here. Yeah, that's definitely going up uh, quite nicely. That's okay. We're actually going to need a fair amount of mixed rations. Here. I didn't think, you know, 50 cows. Ah, we won't need that much. Yeah, it's going to be a fair amount of mixed rations yet. So we might have to look at to invest in another hay field here or something. I'm, the current one will probably keep up. Everyone is just going to be just going to sit here nickel and diamond it, which uh, I guess we can do. Not the end of the world. Just need to sit here alternating between uh, probably hay and grass. Because we need uh, the grass here for the uh, fermenter. I don't think there's anything in there. Let's see. Yeah, I see all zeros over there. And we're definitely out of straw, and there's probably not a lot of silage. Actually, 64,000 silage in there. Okay, that's actually not bad. There's more silage in there than I thought there was. Hay, 52,000. Oh, speaking of hay, I brought the rest of the hay bales over. I was going to put them in the TMR mixer there, but uh, apparently this trigger here is considerably bigger than uh, what it shows on the ground here. I mean, it shows it there on the ground. Apparently, it goes all the way out here somewhere because I dumped the bales off, like, here. Right, ah, this will be a good spot right here. <laughs> yeah, cow pasture took them. At least I'm assuming that's what took them. I don't know. But yeah, obviously they didn't go in there because that, that doesn't have anything in it. And I don't, yeah, they definitely didn't go into here. So it must have gone into the cow pasture. At least I've just assumed that that's where they went. Okay, let's see what's our chickens. Uh, yeah, I don't have any wheat planted, so sorry, chickens, no wheat for you. Also, no, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, last episode, I was looking for that uh, buy silo. Hmm, I'll have to see once. Maybe uh, end of this episode, I'll try to remember to go look for that here again. Uh, let's get the uh, combine rolling here. Gonna get him rolling on probably the oats here for starters. Actually, I don't think I ever bought a row crop head for this combine either yet, did I? I don't think so. So we'll probably save the cost to do the uh, corn and the sunflowers. I think it was sunflowers we have on a 96 there, right? Okay, we'll just uh, start with field. I don't know what you want to start with. How about field? I'm gonna say 100. Yeah, we'll start with field 100 there. That looks like a pretty good one to start with. If you ask me, field 100. Nine meter plant. Sure. That should work. I think this is an 8.7 meter header or something like that. We'll see if we get away with nine meters. 
and I don't have to generate a course by course. Like I said, I'm sure to got the 635 head for it. I think that'd been a little closer match to the Alexion's head, then I can use the same course by course. But oh well. Alas, we did not. And then I am going to need that truck over there, aren't I? So, yield 100. And we are lagging quite a bit. Uh, thank you, course play, for that. And when I say quite a bit, yeah, 15 frames. Whoa. Don't you just love that, everyone? Well, gotta love that. Not sure in what uh, state of mind uh, the course play developers thought it was okay to uh, lag the game to that uh, incredible extent, but, um, you know. I guess when you got a mod as derpy as what course plays that one, you know, okay, who cares, right? Oh, perfect. You're already set on the field. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm mean, just going to hit the power button here and away we go. I mean, get her done. That was easy. That was like, that was too easy. Okay, off you go there. Uh, auto drive and course play. Get that uh, done for me, will you? Uh, yeah, auto drive. I'm assuming auto drive's doing a good job over here, right? We're looking good. I think we're looking good. Remember what I was saying uh, last time, everyone, about uh, I can typically count on auto drive to get the field done? I haven't had to touch this. I mean, other than turning them back on and stuff like that, everyone. Uh, course play and auto drive are still doing their thing over here. You know, course play, everyone, is usually pretty reliable when it comes to field work type applications. Usually don't have a whole lot of problems with that. Speaking of not having a whole lot of problems, Evan, uh, I have not had the problem of it missing large sections of the field like we had on, was that Flint Hills? And uh, there's some previous other maps too, everyone, but I know Flint Hills, I complained about that a lot. Um, even the field work mode had gotten so bad, Evan, that literally course would leave large sections of the field unfinished. And it's like, oh my goodness, Evan, I mean, you can't even rely on field work mode anymore. But uh, so far, we haven't had that problem on here. The fields are relatively squarish, so that might help. I don't know. Although, you know, basically, like, uh, let's go back to, like, Flint Hills or some of the other maps. I mean, you end up with a field like 104, 105 here, and it would leave this, you know, left-hand section of 104 unfinished. There'll be a whole section of there just not done. That's basically what was happening on some of the other maps, everyone, with course play. So that's what uh, really, uh, really uh, ticked me off of course play. And not to mention all the derpiness with crashing into the combines and unloading and stopping here and stop. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it was just bad. 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 Horrible. Okay, now for complaining about course, but we're not using it anyway. Well, let's get them uh, bales loaded up here, man. I mean, what else do we got going on here? I think we just let's get these bales loaded up for stars, and we'll figure that out to then. Let's see what's all the rest of our factories are doing here as well. I probably should check and make sure nothing's like full, and I need to uh, like do some selling here or something. I mean, if I do some selling, that'd be cool. I'm selling it, we lose some money. Must have lost some money. Oh, I bought some cows. That's probably where the money went. Like, where'd the money go? Okay, let's load these uh, things up. Yeah, I don't remember where I got these from. I have not taken the time to go look and see once. Yeah, we're just going to jackknife that around. Push that in. There we go. Okay. Turn the unloading back. Uh, is that one too? What is this one here? This is... It doesn't tell me what it is. It looks like a wood chip bailed on it. Yeah, I'm going to say that matches. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, okay, wood chip bail. I don't know why when I was looking earlier... Did I miss it? Maybe it was telling me, and I just didn't see it. That could very well be. Okay, we're going to take this down to the factory, everyone. Oh, there's some straw bales there, too. I should, uh, that's straw, isn't it? Looks like regular straw. Looks like straw. Appears to be straw. Then we want to taste test, double check. Yeah, okay, we'll, uh, run this down to the mill here, man. I could have auto drive do this, everyone, but uh, it doesn't take that long to get to the mill here. We'll just quick run up there, and I want to see once how the rest of the factory is it doing as well. I mind if we could check from the menu, but hey, it's a little more fun to go up there and look at it too, right? Make sure we don't drive past here this time like we did last time. And I have no idea if this is going to take wood chips or not. We'll find out. Um, if it doesn't, I have no idea what to do with these bales, so... Wood chips. Oh yeah, we definitely need some wood chip. Excellent. Oh, perfect. It does take. All right. Okay. Cool. In that case, let's see if we can dump that last one in there. Oh, it's actually full. Okay, so it probably doesn't want the last one, does it? 
Oh, we'll stick it there anyway. Have fun with it. Um, okay, outputs. Oh, so we're actually almost uh, full here. 93, 94, 94, 94. Almost uh, full. The uh, lumber here is kind of annoying, unfortunately. Let's just uh, pull these out of the way. These, unfortunately, I'm do not uh, auto-load. I don't know if there's an auto-load trail out that would accept them or not. Uh, there's weird, two of them, because you can't actually put straps on them either. So it's even more like, like, why can you not put straps on it? And I'm assuming this is the one it's working on. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait. Okay, that's right. They also spawn over there, too, don't they? I forgot what the board's on. There's like a split down the middle here for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but... And the one it's working on is right there. Gotta love the, the Giants physics, everyone, when it comes to picking stuff up. I, you know, I can just uh, picture the you know, the people at Giants are sitting around the table. Hey, how can we make this more annoying, right? Let's. Ooh, I got a great idea. Well, let's make it so when uh, the players pick stuff up, it drops it. Uh, the players will just love that feature, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least that, that's how I picture it being, because I, I don't know who in their right mind would think it's a great idea to uh, make a game where you can pick stuff up, but then uh, it drops it as often as you pick it up. That's not actually what's being worked on, so let me see if I can put that one back there. Hopefully that didn't uh, break it. I mean, if it does, I will. One more? Yep, one more. Wow, that's quite a few uh, pallets of... This is a fence post, right? Yep, the fence post there. That's the one it's working on. I wonder if I can just take this. There's nothing behind this, is there? There's now. It got pushed around. Oh, uh, yeah, there the kind of sort of is. You got the pallets behind there. Okay. Kind of push them out like that. Can't quite walk behind here, can I? Ah, there we go. Now we got it. I'll probably try to wait like for a full load, so I probably won't bother selling them this time around. If I remember correctly, all this was about a half a load here last time. It all sells at the regular sell point, by the way, so... There we go, just got to be a little further away, apparently. Assuming one on this side, yeah, that one there. Of course, it's that one there. Push it. Eh, better not push it that way because that forklift is there. Of course, the auto load will probably pick it up. Wouldn't really matter, but. Should also probably check too. I haven't seen if any other factories actually need any of this here or not. The only one that might need it, everyone, would be. Well, actually, no, I guess we got two of them that might need it, right? Both the flour mill and. Oh, hello. Yep. I love the physics. I mean, God, I love the physics. Both the flour mill and salt mine or salt factory. Uh, I don't know. I guess salt factory, right? Need pallets and I think it was just pallets. And then one of them need cartons too. Okay, that should be the last one. That's good. Get that out of the way. Perfect. And, of course, I shut the truck off like a good person. Uh, just double-check. Let's look at the menu here, everyone, for the rest of the factories here. So this one here should be good now, right? Kingsbury uh, production. We're going to look good on the wood chips. Tree, I mean, we got all kinds of trees. I mean, it does not seem to go through the trees very quickly. We probably should get some water going down here. And then all the outputs are looking pretty good as well. The uh, water truck is currently sitting up by the salt mine. So it might, uh, or the salt factory... Might fill the salt factory up here. I don't see if we do that on camera. Not might do it off camera too here. Uh, let me top that off in water and then bring it back here, everyone, and we'll uh, top that off. So I think I put a water trigger down by the salt factory. I might do the same thing, everyone, so we don't have to sit here transporting from uh, various locations. I mean, 
technically probably get like auto drive or force me to do it, but well, I'll just put a uh, water trigger there. Someone's only like a couple thousand dollars for that. You know what? Why these uh, factories don't have like actual like wells or city water or some sorts? Don't quite comprehend that. Everyone. Well, why the why the need to fill up with water all the time? Okay, we'll just uh, leave that there. How are we looking on the harvest here? Everything else looking pretty good. Make sure the trucks are like staying, staying, staying on the proper fields here. It always seems to be an issue when we're harvesting this uh, close. I haven't quite, uh, I like need to uh, like sit down and watch it happen. I want maybe to understand why auto drive does that. Uh, occasionally you know, auto drive will hop, you know, this unloader on field 100 will hop over to 104, the 104 will hop over to 100 type of thing. Don't know why it does that. No idea. Could play with the settings a little more, but uh, seems like having the fine combine on seems to be the better solution. But I don't know. Not sure. We're doing good on the moment. Excellent. Okay, well let's uh, go check the salt factory then. That is, yeah, that should be this one here. That's the one with the water tanker sitting there. Can I fill this up? Apparently not quite close enough. I was at least top it off, right? I was only empty. We're facing backwards. Just back up here a minute. Unload. Okay, I am seeing some pallets here. Are they full? Oh, they actually might be full. Uh-oh. We might have jammed up our production here, everyone. Might have jammed it up. Let's open up the venue here and... Uh, water... Oh, actually, no, we're not full. 85%. Okay, so we're not quite full yet. That, that's good. That's good. Uh, empty pallets. Yeah, we do need some more empty pallets, though, don't we? Uh, so one of these must not be full or something. Oh, come on now. Not sure which one it is, because it looks like, according to this, they're all full. Actually, didn't it said 40,000, didn't it? So somewhere there must be another stack of pallets around here somewhere or something. Oh, there's some over here. Okay, I did not see this. Aha. Stack some up over here, too. I'm assuming that last one must be the partial there, then. Yep, we'll leave that one be, then. Let that uh, hopefully continue to fill up. Unless it, uh... No, I don't suppose it just starts back at the beginning, does it? Maybe it does. No idea. Oh, wow. That took almost all that water, didn't it? Okay. Well, let's uh, top this back off here then a minute. And we'll go to the lumber mill. Yes. And let's see, do I have... I think I sent an auto drive course up for this, didn't I? Yes, I did. Perfect. I don't remember if I had one to the salt factory here or not, but I do. Excellent. Got to say, I have an auto drive. It works out really nicely for that. Got one for the back bakery there as well, or cookie factory. I guess technically called the cookie factory. Uh, actually, I guess there is technically a bakery too, right? Was that the bakery that was over here? Uh, I forget the name of the mods here again. Also one over there. I wonder what that one is. Hmm. I don't know if I've looked at that one or not. Investigating everyone. I never did find the sugar factory yet, so. Sugar mill. Aha. Got it, everyone. Got it. You folks probably left it in the comments, too, but I just haven't uh, seen that yet. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is probably why I was in not too big of a hurry to find this, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You know what that looks like, folks. It's what I figured it would be. How much is this uh, dump? Oh. You gotta buy the whole stinking piece of property for that. Um, Cool. That is five million smackers. Ouch. Well, then. I don't think the mod author thought that one out very well, did he? Hmm. Be honest, I, mean, I think we're just going to cheat in $5 million and buy it. I, I don't know. I, I only want the sugar factory, everyone. 
I don't really want the rest. Of, I mean, maybe we do want the rest of the property. The property I actually want, I'm going to the property down here. I want to try these pivots. And I am trying to legitimately buy this property. But then if we legitimately buy this one, that's not going to be like, oh my goodness. Oh my freaking goodness. Okay, well, um, let me think about this here between episodes. I think we'll probably just cheat the money. And that's, I think, what we're going to do. Because this is the property I want to buy, everyone. Four and a half million. Don't want to spend that much for that. And then we got to buy five million to get the sugar factory. Just so, oh my goodness. And I guess there's a fact. No, that was mixers down there. I forget what this was here again. What was this one again? Oh, I think that was just storage one. Yeah, I think that's just storage down here. Some animal. I don't know if you can actually, can you actually do animal stuff down here? Massive. Oh yeah, slurry storage. Oh wait, actually slurry storage. Do not enter toxic gas. Yeah, how about toxic? Well, I guess maybe it is. Stench will definitely get you, that's for sure. Okay, well, we'll leave them uh, to that. Uh, found the sugar mill, Evan. Found the sugar mill. Like I said, I wasn't probably in a particularly big hurry to find that because I kind of suspected what it was going to take. Maybe uh, look at getting the truck headed up this way here as well, so we can maybe move some of these uh, cartons over to the uh, factory. Oh, oh, that's right. We need to check the flour mill too, don't we? I mean, that's right. Forgot about the flour mill. Uh, did I forget any of the other factories? Um, the, the cookie one isn't running, so we don't have to worry about that one yet. Flour mill here, 84%, so it's almost full. Um, oh, that's right. This one does not need pallets. For some reason, I was, I was thinking this one needed pallets, but nope. Looked pretty good there. I will just leave the uh, truck park up here somewhere for now. Hopefully that's out of the way. Let's go grab the other truck, the the, the pickup truck here. I think is that uh, sitting over here somewhere? I don't know if I should just like buy another pickup. Probably really should to be honest. This one seems to be working pretty good. This is the uh, Dodge Ram 2500. Let's maybe just get another one of those. Like I said, it works pretty good. Moves right along. Uh, shop trucks or cars, I guess technically part of the game. Got all the good ones in here that don't work too bad either. Let's see if I can find this one back. The F-250 was pretty good. Got a 350. I don't know if I ever tried that one or not. Possibly. I think is that the one we got? Yes, that's the one we got. Customize that. Uh, probably not that color. Don't remember what I got uh, on the other one. That red doesn't look too bad. Uh, wheel brand stock. Um. I'll just leave it stock. That's fine. Attachers. Gooseneck wood drop. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Stock hood, scoop hood. Uh, well, you know, might as well put the scoop hood on it, right? Stock bumpers. Well, seeing as how we're doing some heavy haul and stuff, might as well go with that. Aftermarket bumper, definitely. Chrome trim, definitely. Makes it go faster. Uh, exhaust, 4-inch. Oh, that seems kind of small. Hood stack. Uh, yeah, probably not that. Not... <laughs> Um, no. Might go with a hood stack. That might be kind of cool. Okay, let's call that uh, good. Anything else? Mirrors plastic. Mm, what else we got for that? Mirrors painted. Eh, we'll go black plastic, I guess. Sure. Eh, probably not for a haul, and I don't think. Nope, those don't look too bad, though. I'll just stick with the uh, default ones. Buy it. Sure. Ooh, that went up a little in price, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Where is the other trail? Oh, there it is. Sitting behind the dump truck. I was planning on pulling that with a dump truck, by the way, but as we found out, yeah, something with the dump truck prevents the auto load from working. Oh, key, I'm probably key binding conflict, I guess, right? Okay, lumber mill. Have you just uh, drive up there? Thought you'd go the other way. I mean, mind you, he'll probably figure it out, but. Uh, Let's see if we actually get him headed the right direction here. It should have been the right way. There we go. Yeah, you know, actually, I guess I, mean, I probably thought it was closer to the other line. That's probably why it's trying to go that way. That uh, that doesn't make a little bit of sense now that I think about that. Okay, let's get off of this screen. Actually, how are we looking over on the mowing? Are we almost done with the mowing? Uh, good halfway. Well, very good halfway, actually. And we're almost done harvesting on 104 here, too. So we can uh, move you over. Like, so we'll probably put the row crop head on you and start on... Oh, the corner's not the hard, so it doesn't really matter. One of the two. 
Might do the sunflowers first time, just because that's going to be a little further away from 104. That way I hopefully don't have to worry about the trucks uh, inter twing uh, tw uh, twining with the uh, wrong harvester there. Yeah. Oh, can I just looked at the time on this episode here. Wow, time is uh, time is flying here this episode. Ready. Yay. Uh, let's see what we need the pals, right? Yes. And the truck is coming in right now. Actually, I'm just going to run over here and grab him. Did not take long to get here at all. Yeah, probably could have just driven here myself, but... <laughs> Why would you want to do that? I mean, come on now. Okay, let's see what's here we want to do. Load pallets, yes. Where is the unload, or the autoload? Is you, okay. You. And we're just going to shove them up here. Hopefully they'll get autoloaded. And, oh, that's right, they're invisible on the trailer, aren't they? I forgot about that. Yep, yeah, cannot see them on the trailer. And holds, oh, it holds 12. For some reason, I was thinking it held 20 pallets, but no, it's 12. 12 pallets. Well, let's uh, shut that off. And we might as well just drive down to the salt back here ourselves here. It's just straight down this road, right? Yes. I could have auto drive to this too, and I do have that all set up here now, as far as I know. Worked uh, pretty hard on that here a couple episodes back. I uh, setting up all these routes. Again, one of the beauties of auto drive there. Once you got routes set up, it's just kind of like a road network, right? Uh, as long as the uh, network is all connected, I mean, you can reach any point in the network essentially. Or going back to like more of a road type scenario. As long as the roads are all connected, I mean, you can reach anywhere in the country. Or map in this case. Wee. Oh, okay. That was a bit of a stop. Something on that bridge caught us. Uh, anyway, I want uh, just a reminder too, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the RD Allen multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. That information down below in the uh, description there. Uh, again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely. Follow the rules. Again, uh, please uh, join us in on TeamSpeak if you'd like to uh, join. And uh, don't forget to have one if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Always very much appreciated. And, of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that there as well. Okay, unload is Y. Perfect. We'll just grab a couple off here. Oh, it's actually already unloaded. Perfect. Take what you need. That actually... Oh, no, it needs more yet. I was going to say, I thought it needed more. Is that full? Yep, yeah, that's full. Okay, re-auto-load that. Back this back out of here. Oh, yeah. Got this easily. And then where are we selling pallets to here uh, these days? Let's go check this out. We'll get rid of the rest of the pallets here then. So pallets are going... Empty pallets are at 73 cents at the Mustang Processing Plant. So Mustang Processing Plant. And there you go. Off you go with our auto-drive. Will you kindly sell that for us? And on that note, I think with that, we better wrap this episode up here. If folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.